on the latest chapter of Hacktivists versus the World, Anonymous and Anonsec have unleashed fury on a new entity. Think of it as an organization that supposedly represents the height of military power and global politics. I'm talking about NATO. Now, through a string of tweets this morning, Anonymous announced their latest retrieval of data, saying, yes, NATO was breached and we have lots of restricted material, with some simple injection in the next days waiting for interesting data. Now, just a short while later, they decided to be very nice about their cyber attack and said, we're sitting on about one gigabyte of data from NATO now, most of which we cannot publish as it would be irresponsible, but oh, NATO! Now, just to make sure everybody knew their claims were serious, they did tweet a link to a restricted file, although neither you nor I have access to the servers that can actually read that protected information. But then shortly afterwards, Anonymous also tweeted a link to pieces of NATO's security handbook and then pointed out the irony that NATO workers have failed to follow their own security procedures. Now, meanwhile, unnamed members of NATO have also confirmed that attack, citing the dangers of the hacktivist organization gaining such incredibly secret information. So perhaps a blessing in disguise? Yes, Anonymous did get highly sought after information from one of the most well-known organizations in the world, but they decided to play the nice card and opted not to release that classified information for now. But NATO isn't the only group that's feeling the burn of hacktivists right now. Even Rupert Murdoch's empire can't hide from the cyber hacking ways of LulzSec. According to their own tweets, they're currently working with specific news organizations to share what private information they've obtained from hacking News Corp files. And knowing News Corp, pretty sure that LulzSec will uncover a treasure trove of information on the way that they conduct business. So it appears as if Anonymous and LulzSec are as strong as ever. And despite the fact that LulzSec announced its retirement back in June, Seems like they just couldn't help themselves. They had to get back into the game. But they've also teamed up with an onsec, so it seems like the hacktivists have realized that they have a lot more things in the world to correct, or at least stand up to. And for that, I'm quite interested to see how NATO and the FBI are going to respond to Anon and Lulzsec's efforts to take down some of the most notorious organizations in the world.